let's begin with the clinical scenario. So in the scenario, the four month child present to the pediatrician office visit for the initial examination. This microcephalic child being evaluated for seizure, the child has hypopigmented and musty body odor, which amino acid would be becomes the essential for this child. It's in order to pick the right answer, first you have to diagnose which disease the patient suffer from. So the age of the child is four months and it is a microcephalic seizure. It is a hypopigmented, musty body odor. These things are the basically fits with the phenylketonuria. In phenylketonuria, the child may present with intellectual disabilities and eczema. So it is a basically the phenylketonuria is autosomal recessive disorder. In order to solve this question, the clinical winnet, first we have note the metabolism of the phenylalanine. So phenylalanine is an amino acid. It's convert to tyrosine by enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase PAH and the cofactor for this enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase PH4 tetrahydrobiotrin. So this tyrosine it may convert to homogenetic acid homogenetic acid and dopa so again this homogenetic acid is converted to melyl Aceto acetic acid by enzyme homogenetisate homogenetisate oxidase. So if this enzyme is deficient, it will lead to Alcaptinuria, alcaptinuria. So this dopa is converted to melanin by enzyme tyrosinase. If this enzyme is deficient, tyrosine is deficient, it will lead to albinism. This dopa is may converted into dopamine by enzyme dopa decarboxylase so here is an important drug that used in the parkinson which block which inhibit this enzyme is carbidopa carbidopa is drug that peripherally inhibit this dopa decarboxylase enzyme so now again i am discussing the high yield stuff Phenyl alanine hydroxylase enzyme that is defective in phenylketonuria. 
and its cofactor is BH4 tetrahydrobiotrin. So, this is essential for this enzyme activity. If this enzyme is deficient, so there is decreased tyrosine, and this tyrosine becomes essential for this child, and fin this phenyl alanine increase, and this is decrease. So the right of the right answer of this question is a tyrosine. Another question that is a high yield: How will you treat this child? Basically, decrease phenyl alanine, increase tyrosine in diet. And its example are soya products. fish, milk, and chicken, and also some supplementation of BH4 supplementations, tetrahydrobutrin supplementation. So, which thing you avoid in this child? Avoid artificial sweeteners. Because it contain aspartame, which is rich in phenyl. Alanine. 